There are only 14 days left until the 2021 NFL Draft. The situation is constantly changing for the Miami Dolphins. Tua Tungavailoa is among the top players who are believed to win 2021 NFL MVP. Miami Dolphins is an exclusive club. Miami Dolphins need Jalen Phillips more than any players. Miami Dolphins cannot draft Kyle Pitts at sixth pick. Subscribe please. Tua Tungavailoa is among the top players who are believed to win 2021 NFL MVP. Some people are nuts. You cannot bail on Tua after one season. Yes, I would have drafted Justin Herbert over Tua. That's a sentiment I expressed throughout last year's pre-draft process, and Herbert obviously proved his worth by taking home Offensive Rookie of the Year honors. He's a star, but I still liked Tua then, and I remain a fan now. Tua made national headlines earlier this year when he told me that his rookie campaign was below average. I can appreciate someone who's his own toughest critic, but Tungavailoa was wrong there. His first year in the NFL was normal. There were moments of excellence and spells of ineptitude. He looked advanced beyond his years in certain circumstances and completely overwhelmed in others. It was typical, but overall, he flashed a strong and accurate arm, savvy, leadership and athleticism. He went, he went 6-3 as a starter, operating with a surrounding offensive cast that certainly left something to be desired. And that's why I'm thrilled to see what the number 5 overall pick looks like in year 2. In addition to recovering from a serious hip injury last offseason, Tungavailoa's rookie ramp-up was significantly limited by the COVID-19 pandemic abbreviating all team activities. Now he gets a full offseason of preparation. Now he gets free agent signee Will Fuller blowing the top off defenses. And we haven't even gotten to the draft, where Miami can plug numerous holes with four top 50 picks. Another pass catcher? Sure. The hulking pass protector? Why not? Fresh legs in the backfield? Miami can get it all at the end of this month. I absolutely believe Tua will be a very good starting quarterback for Brian Flores, someone who can lead Miami to the Super Bowl that and he will personally win the 2021 NFL MVP. Would you love to see it happen? Like this video and comment, fins up, for this declaration. Miami Dolphins is an exclusive club. The Miami Dolphins are eagerly looking to upgrade the wide receiver position as one of the final touches to the team's ambitious rebuilding effort. The work will never truly be completed, as some investments will fall short of expectations and the salary cap will force the team to make challenging decisions regarding personnel. But year three of the Chris Greer, Brian Flores era in Miami should allow the Dolphins to secure a roster quite close to what they'd ideally like. That was, after all, part of the appeal of starting from scratch in 2019. But the rigorous rebuild of the last two years has left Miami with much work to do at the position. With pressing needs in the trenches, Wide receiver has been an afterthought for the Dolphins as of the last few years, be that by circumstance or design. But now, thanks to a story from ESPN's Mike Triplett, we know just how rare Miami's wide receiver drought across the entire NFL is. The Dolphins are a member of an exclusive NFL draft club. They're one of three teams in the entire NFL to not draft a single wide receiver. The other two teams, the Saints and the Packers, have been competing for championships over the last few seasons. Their reasons for ignoring wide receiver are more so a product of their quarterbacks and trying to keep a well-rounded roster to keep them in competitive standing. But for the Dolphins, it is more indicative of just how far the Dolphins roster has had to come after the team tore things down in 2019. But now, with two full seasons behind that decision, the Dolphins are ready to come the other way. So while the Packers and Saints may well extend their streak to three seasons, and even that is questionable, the Dolphins are almost assuredly going to end theirs in two weeks, perhaps even with their first pick at no. Overall. Miami Dolphins need Jalen Phillips more than any players. It's not a great secret that the Miami Dolphins could use an edge defender after their offseason moves, and we profiled a little while back two really good prospects from the University of Miami. But Jalen Phillips, unlike Gregory Rousseau, didn't start his career at UM. He started at UCLA, where his first head coach was Jim Mora Jr. Phillips eventually left UCLA after sitting out a year and went to Miami, 
and he left that school as a bona fide elite NFL prospect. In fact, maybe the only concern with Phillips, based on most reports, is his injury history, which includes a couple of concussions. But the way Mora talks about Phillips, he makes a pretty convincing argument for the Dolphins taking Phillips to replace the departed Kyle Van Noy and Shaq Lawson. There's no medical history, Mora said. That's not an accurate assessment. There were things that went on after I left UCLA with Jalen that LA with Jalen that I don't think are accurately reported or accurately documented. People talk about a concussion history. I think like a lot of players, he may have had a concussion, maybe two, and I don't ever want to downplay those, but there were other factors at play that led to him leaving UCLA. I think was a great move for him. I have a tremendous relationship with him. I can tell you this without hesitation, without even the slightest hesitation, if I have an opportunity to draft Jalen Phillips, I would want him on my team. Phillips is projected as a likely first-round pick and based on potential alone he just might be the best prospect among the edge defenders in this draft. Phillips has been mocked to the Dolphins at number 18. Then again, the number of prospects who can say that is quite large given the abundance of mocks, and it's questionable they'd be able to get him at number 36. On the Dolphins' defense, Mora says Phillips has the versatility to do just about everything Brian Flores would ask of him. He's a supremely talented athlete, Mora said. I see comparisons to former Chargers linebacker, Son Merriman. I think those are probable accurate. I mean, he can get after the passer. If he just pins his ears back and goes, he can go. But he also has the athleticism to drop. I think that's one of the things that makes him so attractive is that there's not a team out there that can't use a guy like Jalen Phillips. If you're a 3-4 to four team, I can promise you, he can play outside linebacker, he can drop into space, he can react and make open field tackles. If you're a 4-3 to three team, you can put him at right end and you can cut it loose. He's got hand strength to hold the edge in the run, and he's got pass rush moves and energy to just get after it. He's one of those guys that if he doesn't beat with his first move, you better get rid of the football because he's going to win late in the down because of his tenacity. So, should Miami draft Phillips at 18th or 36th? Comment Bellow. Miami Dolphins cannot draft Kyle Pitts at 6th pick. We all know who the best prospect in the 2021 NFL draft is, and there are plenty of reasons why Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence has been locked into this year's number one overall pick since his freshman season. Quarterbacks are also expected to be selected at the next two spots, and perhaps even the next three. There are certainly multiple quarterbacks in this year's loaded class worthy of those selections, which isn't always the case. But who will be the first non-quarterback off the board this year? It should be Florida tight end Kyle Pitts, and from what NFL Network's Peter Schrager is hearing, that appears to be how things are trending with two weeks left until this year's big event. In particular, the media and fans simultaneously believe that Pitts will land in Miami Dolphins at number 6. Kyle Pitts is clearly the right choice for Dolphins. But will the Dolphins compete against Pitts at number 6 pick? A dominant pass catcher with a rare combination of size and athleticism, Pitts would be a slam dunk pick for the Atlanta Falcons at number 4 overall should they pass on a trade-down offer, or a quarterback of the future for themselves. If a quarterback does go in that slot, the Cincinnati Bengals would be wise to steal Pitts at number 5 overall. As such, to be sure that Kyle Pitts lands in the Dolphins, Chris Greer might consider trade for fourth pick. Do you want that to happen? Please leave, yes for fourth, or, no for sixth.